each other. That's what we are going to solve by cross multiplication. So, all I have to do is cross multiply and I can start to work this out. So I'm going like this, going like this. 3 times 4x is 12x. 3 times 5, 9 times x, and 9 times 1. So I solve from here, subtract 9 from both sides. 12 minus 9 is 3x. 15 minus, or negative 15 plus 9 is six. negative 6. Divide by 3 and x gives me negative 2. Now, on your homework, they might ask you to plug that back in and check. You would just plug two, negative 2 in anywhere there's an x. Okay? So that's the simplest form of this, just cross multiplication. Okay? Here's a word problem that goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> we just throw a hissy fit for a second. An alloy is formed by mixing two or more metals. Sterling silver is an alloy. It's composed of 92.5% and, <laughs> and 7.5% and copper by weight. Jewelry silver is composed of 80% silver and 20% copper by weight. How much pure silver should you mix with 15 ounces of jewelry silver to make a sterling silver? How can I set this up? Okay, how much pure silver? Uh, 15 ounces. So we probably need to look at the things that aren't silver. What's not silver right now? 7.5. 7.5, okay. 7.5 would be how much out, out of a whole? Like, what's the whole? 100. So I need to set that up into a proportion like 7.5 over 100 equals, right? Okay, because this is what's not pure silver in that. What's not pure silver in the other one? 20. And what? how many ounces is that not pure silver then? 80. No, 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 not percent. Ounces. 0.20. So 0.2. No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. How much pure silver should you mix with? There you go. Because I'm saying that 0.2 is has to be multiplied by the 15 because the 15 is the jewelry silver. Okay. Over x. Over not just x over 15 plus x because I have to take the jewelry silver and add it to sterling silver. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Now what do I do from there? Cross Beautiful. I cross multiply, so we might need calculators out. Because I don't think you want to do 7.5 times 15 in your head. Just a thought. I think I really want to. I think we've tried. Yeah. Okay. What is 7.5 times 15? 112.5. 112.5. And then that means that I get plus 7.5x. And then that equals, what's 0 0.2 times 15 times 100? 300. 300, okay. So then from there, I just have to subtract 112.5 from 300. What's, one tw uh, what's 300 minus 112.5? 187.5. It's what? 187.5. Okay, 187.5. And then I have to divide it by 7.5. And what do you get? So you need 25 ounces of... Sterling silver to make that. Yes. This one's a little bit more difficult. What do I have to do first before I can cross multiply? Uh, add. But what do I have to do before I can add? Can I add 5x plus 7? Yeah, common common denominators. Denominator. So, multiply so I'm going to multiply this one by what? 4, four over 4. four. I'm going to multiply this one by x over x. x over x. So here I get 20 over 4x, right? Yeah. Plus 7x over 4x equals negative 9x, 9 over x, right? Yeah. So I get 20 plus 7x over 4x equals negative 9 over x. I cross multiply. What's negative 9 times 4? Negative 36x. What is this? I get uh, 20x. 7x squared. Oh boy, okay. Uh, so then I'm going to add 36 to this side so I get 0 equals 7x squared plus 40, yeah, 50. Plus 
X, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what do you have to do from there? Then you have to. Can I pull something out of this? Seven. Seven. X. X. And you hit X plus what? Eight. So what does X equal? It equals, if I said this equal to zero, seven X equals what? No. Zero. Yeah. X equals zero. Or what? X equals what? Negative eight. Yep. Negative eight. Now, you would have to plug those answers in and figure out which one works. Well, let me give you a hint. If I plug zero in, what's wrong? Good, so what's the only one of the options? And you can't have zero on the bottom, Manny. But, yes, it's not one of the options, so it has to be negative eight. So when you get two solutions, it's called extraneous solutions. You've got to go back and check. Okay? We're going to do two more. How do I solve this? What do I need to do first? Oh, oh, oh. Common denominator. Okay. One doesn't have, what is the common denominator going to be? X minus 5. Yes, X minus 5, because I only have to focus on the side that has more than one thing going on right now. Okay? Now, if I have the number 1, that means I'm multiplying 1 by X minus 5 over X minus 5. So I'm just going to change this to say X minus 5 over X minus 5. That is 1. Okay? Minus 8 over X minus 5, right? right. Equals. So I get. What's negative 5 minus 8? Uh, negative. Negative 13. Yeah, 13. Yep. So I get this. Equals 3 over x, right? Then, then, we, can cross. Cross. then we can cross multiply. So I end up getting 3x minus 15, right? Equals x squared minus 13x. I'm going to put all that on that side. So I'm going to subtract 3x. I'm going to add 15. I get 0 equals x squared. If I subtract 3x, I get negative 16x. If I add 15, I get plus 15. Now what do I have to do? What do you have to do now? Um, yes, factor. Yeah, factor. Good. So what multiplies to give me 15 adds to give me negative 16? 15 and 1. Uh, negative 15, negative 1. So that means x equals what? 15 or 1. or 1, and this is where we go back and plug it in and check, okay? So let's plug it back in. So if we plug it back in, if I plug 15 in here, I have 8 over 10. So what's 1 minus 8 tenths? 2 tenths. 2 tenths, which is 1 fifth. 1 fifth. If I plug 15 in here, I get 3 over 15, which reduces to 1 so 15 works. Let's double check 1. If I plug a 1 in here, I get 8 over negative 4, which is what? Negative 2. Negative 2. What's 1 minus negative 2? 3. 3. It's positive 3. If I put 1 over 1 under 3, I get 3. So they both work. Negative 1 and 15 are solutions on this. Now, one more. Uh, no, I lied. Yes, just one more. Okay. Yes. How do I do this one? Um, yeah. Wait, you oh can factor word. the bottom of yes. 8x squared. So I have 6 over x minus 3, which is going to stay fine by now. Okay. Over here I have 8x squared over x plus 3, x minus 3, because it's a difference of squares. Minus 4x over x plus 3. So the only thing I need to do is multiply this one, yes? Yeah, by x minus 3. By x minus 3 over x minus 3. Okay, this drops 6 over x minus 3 equals 8x squared over x plus 3 x minus 3 minus 4x squared, 4x squared minus 12 over x plus 3. Not yet. Uh, yes, 12x plus and then x minus 3, yep. Now, what do I do from there? Uh, you, uh, the reciprocal. No. You can't do the reciprocal. There is no reciprocal. 8x squared minus 4x squared is 4x squared minus 12. Minus 12x 12 over this. Now, what do you do? Cross multiply. Now, I can cross multiply. Okay. Boom. Okay, this is easy. 
I know that this is x squared minus 9, right? Mm -hmm. So what's 6 times x squared? 6x squared. And what's 6 times negative 9? 30, negative 36. Negative 36, okay? Because I already knew what that was. I didn't need to show my work. Okay, now I have to do this. What's x? So I have this. x minus 3 times 4x squared minus 12 over here, yeah? 12x? Mm -hmm. Okay, so x times 4x. 4x cubed. x times negative 12. Negative 12x 12 squared. Negative 3 times 4x squared. Negative 12x squared. I didn't do that right. I didn't do that right. Oh, not Yes, I did. Okay. Negative 12x squared, you said? Yeah. Okay. And then um, 3 times negative 12x. Negative 3 times negative 12x. Yeah, negative 3 times negative 12x. Uh, 36x. 36x equals 6x squared minus 36. I need more space. This one just takes a while. Okay. Now, from there... x squared, right? Minus 36 equals 4x cubed minus 24x squared, yep, plus 36x. I'm going to subtract 6x squared, right? So that I get 4x cubed minus 30x squared, correct? Then I add 30, uh, plus 36x seems very large. Oh, I know what I did last time. And then add 36 over here, yeah? Can I take something out of all this to reduce it down a little bit? Four. Four. Two. 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 Four. Two. 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 Four doesn't go into 30, Two. right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. She said, yeah, it does. So 2x squared minus 15x squared, right? Mm -hmm. Or cubed, whatever this is. And then plus half of 36 is 18. Yeah. And then plus 18. Mm -hmm. I feel like, oh, this should say negative. I wrote that down. No. Did I write it down? No. No. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. I feel like it's just something we should skip. No, it's not something we should skip. I just feel like something is going wrong currently. Mm -hmm. My wrong. <laughs> Okay, let's do this then. We factor or we group, right? To solve these. What can I take out of here? Uh, See, something's wrong. That's not right. <laughs> I'm telling you, we went wrong. <laughs> This turns into 4x squared minus 12x up top, correct? Okay. Then from there, we added turn. Oh, I know what we did wrong. I know what we did wrong. It was right here. Look, this is what we did wrong. We said, we said this. 6 over x minus 3 equals 4x squared, which is true. But we said minus 12x. It's plus 12x. Oh, okay. Because there's a negative there. So it's plus 12x. And then this is over x plus 3, x minus 3. Now, from there, we can continue. Because we can say, cross multiply, right? And this part still changes to 6x squared. And then we have negative 9 times 6, which is negative 56, right? Third. No. 9 and 6, 54. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. And then we cross multiply this, and that's going to change our answer because we're going to have x minus 3, and we're going to have 4x squared plus 12x. So that gives me 4x cubed 
that gives me 12x squared. This gives me negative 12x squared, so that's going to cancel. This gives me negative 36x equals 6x squared minus 54. So these cancel like that, yes? Okay. 6x squared minus 54 equals 4x cubed minus 36x. Switch everything over. So that says 0 equals 4x cubed minus 6x squared minus 36x plus 54. Now we group, yes. What can I take out of 4x cubed minus 6x squared? 2x squared. 2x squared. So I say 2x squared, and then that leaves me with 2x minus 3. What can I take out of negative 36x plus 54? How about 18? 18. Okay. Negative 18, so that, that changes this to 2x minus 3. This, 2x squared minus 18 groups together, and then you have 2x minus 3. What can I take out of here? A two. a 2 leaving you with x squared minus 9. nine. What is that? What is x squared minus 9? Mm -hmm. And then what are my possible zeros? Negative 3, positive 3, or 3 over 2. And then you would check those to see which ones are actually working. That's what you're working on today. All right. There's your problems. Five through thirty, multiples of five. Get busy.